Every 90 minutes, someone in the U.S. is diagnosed with ALS. The disease affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. Right now, there is no known cure, but people worldwide and here locally continue to drum up awareness for those who are affected, and certainly we are hoping for a cure. Joining us this morning to talk about an awareness game, it's called Strike Out for ALS. And it's something you can take part in. Our friends Lindsay and Steve Cannon. Good morning to you both. Good Thank morning. you for coming on. Thank you for having us. So I know you've been working behind the scenes, and it's for a special reason. You have a personal cause to this. Absolutely. Our father, John Cannon, uh, was diagnosed in September 2014. Um, and really the only knowledge that we had of ALS at the time was from the uh, viral ice bucket challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so you kind of understand what it is, but overall, um, you know, until you live it and, and see the consequences of and the progression of ALS, um, it, you really don't get a full understanding. So watching him uh, progress and, and, and go through what he went through, the, uh, the physical uh, regression, uh, it was just difficult on, on everyone. My mother was the primary caregiver. Mm -hmm. Lindsay was a primary caregiver. They lived at the house with him, and it was just difficult on everyone. Um, you know, going through that process together and watching him go go through what he went through. And the people don't think it's not just the person that's going through it, but the, the entire family, the, the, the friends that watch someone who's so full of life just regress and, and go from being this powerful person to this person who needs help brushing their teeth yeah. and doing things like that. It really is ruthless. Let's, yeah. let's talk about taking this bad experience and using it for good. This is an interesting concept, right? Yep. A baseball game? Yep. <laughs> So the Strikeout ALS game is Friday, April 15th at 4 p.m. It's to raise awareness and funding for this crucial disease, and we honestly just need to find a cure for people mm -hmm. fighting this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you've been very active in the community yes. with the foundations, raising money. I mean, research takes a lot of money, and it takes a lot of time. We have to be patient with something like this. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, it, it's just been such a, a long time um, with ALS, you know, going back to Lou Gehrig um, being diagnosed, and we haven't really made a whole lot of progress. You know, we, you know with, with cancer, we've seen a lot of progress. Um, obviously, we're not done there yet either, but with ALS, we, we, we've got a lot of catching up to do. Certainly, certainly. So what do people need to know? I mean, are you still able to do it? It's this Friday. That's just two days from now. Are you yes. still able to get out there and get involved? Yes, you can go to unfospreys.com and click on the tickets. And we would love to see new faces and come support uh, UNF softball and uh, strike out ALS. Okay, so you're teaming up with UNF, and it's on campus there at UNF? Yes. Okay, at the sports complex. Yes, UNF softball complex. Cool. So, so that's a good way, and yep. maybe you'll get some student support as well. Maybe they'll just see it on campus. I'm a student there now. Are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the grad program. <laughs> All right. So, you know, some people walking in between classes or or living there on campus can come in, learn a little bit more about it because it is awareness. You talk about ALS, you talk about Lou Gehrig's disease, and people have probably heard the terms, mm -hmm. but they don't really know what it's all about. Unfortunately, us here on The Morning Show know it all too Absolutely. well because of our beloved executive producer. Um, she passed away two years ago on April 9th yes. and uh, just spoke with her, her parents and her son over the weekend. And, you know, it, it's really such a, a cruel disease that we need to find a way. We yep. need to find Absolutely. a way to strike it out. Absolutely. It's been, like I said, Lou Gehrig was diagnosed in 1939. He was the first person to be diagnosed, and 83 years later, there's still no cure. We know nothing really about it. Okay, yeah, and, and hopefully we are, we are on the right track. Hopefully we've got that big breakthrough. So, so one more time, give us those details, because I know that there's going to be people watching this that want to come out there that want to participate and make a difference. Right. So the game is April 15th this Friday at 4 p.m. April 15th. April 15th. April 15th. <laughs> okay, you said 14th. Oh, 15th. 15th. April 15th okay. at 4 p.m. And we'd like everyone to come out. Uh, you can get tickets at unfospreys.com and click on the ticket section. Okay. And it's right there on the UNF campus. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on. and appreciate you sharing your, your personal story as well. Thank you Absolutely. so much for having us. Thank you, guys. We'll see you all out there.